Finding the other survivors our native visitor mentioned is our best bet right now. With all the supplies from the mines, we'd be set. And if they're alive, we can help each other. Worst case, we pry the stuff from their frozen corpses. Good call, Frank. But I won't go out unprepared. We need basic supplies for a proper search. I need to turn on the power first.
Well, you didn't stop the mutation.
Fierce Claw, you're back. I'm still tracking my prey. I found its tracks nearby. Anything I can help with? What do they look like? Uh, the beast spawn has many forms, and the best way to track them is to glimpse into the world where the beast resides. It's not something you should attempt. Your mind is not prepared for this. So why are you here then? You're just saying hello. I came to tell you that you should leave. It's not safe to stay here. All of your companions are already gone. Wait, what? All of my... Are you talking about the other prison employees? Do you know which way they went? Last time I saw your companions, they set camp near the old spirits. No, you wouldn't know them. <clears throat> I think it's best if I just show you on your map. of tracks around. Boot prints still fresh. Large group with heavy equipment. Well, seems like there's no one here. It wouldn't hurt to look around. Empty and torn by the weather. Looks like they left in a hurry. The fire's been dead for a while. Coals are completely gone or cold. Hard to tell if the group that rested here got it going or if the remains are even older. Axe marks on the wood. Probably not caused by a monster, but why bash the crate so badly? Doesn't seem to be taken apart for firewood either. Seems like someone just tested the blade and was really frustrated. That bush over there, something's off about it. The branches seem alive somehow. Swollen, twisted, reaching, as if... Oh, it was just the shadows playing tricks on me. Strange. There are no wounds nor claw marks. Only a leg injury. Probably broken. Didn't die scared, either. It looks more like a mercy kill. Or was he just left behind? Oh, even thinking about it gives me shivers. Well, they're definitely on the move, but I wonder if they have a certain goal, or if they're just running away from the horror. We'll take another look around, and then it's back to camp. Place gives me the creeps.
hunting cabin. Tribal shrines. They look a bit unsettling, but I'm weirdly at ease near them.
What's that noise? I hope it's just a raccoon and not a monster. Well, that sounds too sad, too distressed for a monster. A ladder. Just gotta figure out how to get it down. Guess not every place can afford a supply guy like me. Ah, oh, this place hasn't been restocked in ages. Hey, what's that? Something moving in the dark. Come on, get out of there! Show me some neck! Oh, that noise again. Like whimpering. All right, come on out. I won't hurt you. Well, I had a boy. You're somewhat mangy, but you don't seem to have any strange growths. Here, show me your collar tag. Max? Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Max. Finally, someone's genuinely happy to see me. We'll get along just fine. Monster! Oh, yes, you now. The worm tries to rise from the dirt. The piece tries to be a player. Could I be mistaken? Are you not the vessel of my prey? Mm. Go on then, Carter. He is off balance. We must seize this opportunity. Give it your best shot, asshole. I won't go down as easy as you think. Do tone the bravado down a notch. Don't give in to the same weakness as he does. You're ready to learn more about the beast. Go on then, Hunter. Amuse me with your quaint fireside story. The rules dream came to us from the emptiness between the stars. It snuck past their light and burrowed into our earth. And with the dream came the beast as well. The beast resides within the dream, never fully awake itself. It is always discontent with its shackles. It craves to be part of our waking world. Reaches out with roots and tendrils. Yet, everything it touches becomes corrupted. A twisted image of itself. It must never rise. Assuming that is true, how would you stop the beast from awakening, Hunter? Ah. I've given you enough to dwell on for one night. Knowledge of the beast can corrupt the uninitiated as much as its touch. I will take my leave.
Holy moly. For a hot minute, I could have sworn you were one of them monsters. What the hell happened here? Lucky I know the tunnel's like the back of my hand. Otherwise, I'd have ended up like them poor devils. All cut to bloody ribbons and chunks. You look like a man with a plan. We gotta get out of here. I need to let my folks at home know I'm all right. I set up a small camp and could use some hands. You're welcome to join. Hey, Mr. Carter, I heard you're intending to go to them offices. Would you mind me tagging along? Uh, no offense, David, but it's safer here. Why take the risk? My wife, you see. She ain't heard from me in a while. Probably worried sick. Never got a chance to radio her. If you'd allow me to accompany you, I might get the chance to let her know I'm all right. I won't risk your life for a message. It's hard enough without babysitting you. I can't risk any of us dying. Don't you have folks back home, Mr. Carter? Folks missing you? Frankly, none of your business. I'm sorry, David. It's not gonna happen. I have every faith someone in headquarters has already realized something's wrong. Help is on the way. We should stay put. What if they prefer a cover-up and leave us to die? Well, that is absurd. PRISM isn't some haphazard nonprofit. We have procedures for anything and everything, and we take good care of all our employees. <sighs> I'd welcome an efficient rescue. But I'm not counting on it. Seen any stones out there? The strange kind? You seem like a smart guy. I hope you're picking them up for me, right? Humor me. Why would you be interested in the, as you call them, stone? They're worth a fortune if you find the right buyer. And you and me, friend? We're lucky. I know just the people to make us rich men. Promising me money won't feed anyone right now. If you want a dream, feel free. I'll keep surviving. What was that?
Oh, looks like the creatures got here before me. Place must be crawling with them. People, no security. Maybe some of them made it out or hunkered down somewhere in the building. The desk is spattered with blood. Must have taken them completely by surprise, just like the rest of us. met him personally, but we all know the faces of Campbell and O'Brien, PRISM's founders. Way to go, brother. Ah! 
locked. That lab may hold some answers to what's going on here. Gotta find a way in. Some old prison correspondence. Make sure you obtain the authorities' permission to set up research in the mine. Mark will help you come up with a convincing geological excuse, throw in something about the benefit to the miner's health as well. Joe. Dear employees, currently our alarm is undergoing maintenance and you might hear it going off throughout the day. There's no need to evacuate. Unless you hear people screaming. Meeting with Diane from accounting at 11 a.m. There's something odd about the money allocated to R&D. The budget and reported expenses don't add up.
There's no doubt monsters got here before me, but almost no bodies. Where is everyone? There must be a way to open this. I've seen movies. Corporate types always have some sort of hidden switch or compartment in their desks. Subjects, three experiments, three failures. What the hell are you? You, you are not a failure, and yet you are by destiny. The stars were right. The prism split, the light of the stone, the colors bleed into each other. I don't understand any of this. Seven subjects, three experiments, three failures. Seven. What the hell? I don't understand. Seven.
hell out of here. Journalist actually made it all the way up here and started asking questions. We were forthcoming and agreed to answer some of them. If you get in contact with them, avoid any mention of accidents or injuries and refer to the high standards and company regulation. That glass holds up a little longer. I don't want to deal with that horror. emergency gathering point at the far side of the building. It looks like this was where everyone went when the monsters appeared. Isolated footprints lead toward HQ. I should resupply and return. Everyone at camp is waiting for news. A secret lab, huh? Huh. That checks out. Every corporation like prison has some skeletons in the closet. But real life monsters? Huh. That's something else, man. Well, just like you said. But it's not skeletons, it's monsters. This whole mess wouldn't have happened if Edward, <clears throat> CEO Campbell, had more control over the company. But whatever good he's trying to do, Joel, our second CEO, always undermines him. If Prism is going down, it will be entirely Joel's fault. Two CEOs? No wonder the whole organization is a mess. All you need to know is that once we get out of here, we should support Edward's decisions. He's the only one competent and intelligent, and knowledgeable enough to lead us. No single man could be that excellent. But for our sake, let's hope you're right. Parts might be in one of the storage rooms. Gotta look around for the key cards. Oh, hi. If you're looking for my supervisor, you're too late. Everyone ran or got eaten by those creatures. Hey there. Nice to see a friendly face for a change. Honestly, I'm just looking for spare parts. You happen to have access to the storage rooms. I might have. Tell you what, let's do a little quid pro quo, as they say. My research is still down there. One part just below. The other at the lowest level. But those creatures... 
Ugh. Anyway, if you get it for me, I'll let you in. I need those parts, so you got yourself a deal. If it's salvage you're after, you could check on Bob. He's the facility clerk, tried to escape through the old tunnels on the opposite side of the mine. He's got an access card on him.
found it. Let me see if everything's accounted for. Oh, right. My access card. Here you go. So, where are you heading? If you need parts, I assume you have a camp? Or even a way out of here? I left trail markers. Look for the blue cloth stripes and you'll find a small camp. Tell them Carter sent you. This must have been Bob.
finding the other survivors our native visitor mentioned is our best bet right now. With all the supplies from the mines, we'd be set. And if they're alive, we can help each other. Worst case, we pry the stuff from their frozen corpses. Don't count yourself out yet, old man. You're doing your part back here. Leave the grump work to me. The beast's throes are getting stronger. The land howls and weeps. You must leave. Believe me, I want to, but it's tough. Can't your people help? We're not picky, we can use anything. Among my people, there are very few who can resist the beast outright. Most of us try to outrun the beast's corruption, just like you. You must leave its shadow. Then they can help. Huh. Seems like the only way is through. We'd appreciate any help we can get once we catch up. There, there, boy. Here's a treat. David's been wandering off on his own a lot lately. He seems okay enough, but I should check on him. Howdy, Mr. Carter. Don't sneak up on me like that. Startled me a bit there. Sneaking? <laughs> you want to talk? What are you doing all on your own out here? Just needed some time alone. If it's all the same to you, Mr. Carter. Don't need to stray so far off camp for that. Only place within walking distance with good wood, I'm afraid. Wood? What for? A weapon? A trap? Nothing fancy like that. I wanted to whittle something for my wife. Huh. Man of many talents, I see. So, what are you making? Just a little figurine, that's all. I like working with my hands and it helps me cope. Something I can latch on to. Maybe something she can remember me by if I ain't gonna make it. Well, if it keeps you sane, that's a win in my book. And how's it coming along? Yeah, almost done. Just some final touches to let her personality shine through the wood. Here, take a look. Well, um, it's... Uh, well, I didn't expect you to be that, um, inspired. She's gotta be inspired and special. She's a very serene woman, Mr. Carter. And I'd like her peaceful nature reflecting in my work. A pleasant reflection, David. This shall be how the world will see her. Come again? I, I didn't quite catch that. Got lost in thought a bit. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. Never mind. Just... Be careful, but if it helps you, it's fine. See you back at camp. Carter, you're doing great, pal. But we should focus your scavenging a bit more. I can't understand why you haven't found a single firearm yet. With all the monsters, I'd feel much safer with a good rifle in my hands. Rifles need ammo, and they make noise. I'm honestly glad I haven't found any. Just my luck. Them prison folks look real legitimate. First mining job where my boss cared for OSHA rules. And now we're left hung out to dry. There might be more people stranded like we are. We have to fight for ourselves. There's no point in waiting for a rescue. <laughs> 